Hi, I'm Chris Hiley, the Music Product Specialist with Zivix. And uh, I want to talk to you about getting your Jamstick connected to play one of the best apps that's available for iOS made by Apple called GarageBand. GarageBand is a collection of software instruments, you know, things like guitars and keyboards and some basses and drums that works really naturally with the Jamstick's Bluetooth integration. Let's get started. Now, this Jamstick is already connected to uh, GarageBand, but if you wanted to get connected and you weren't already connected, you can, under settings, launch Bluetooth MIDI Discovery. And you'll see here, this works just like it does in the Jamstick Plus app. Now, uh, GarageBand was originally designed for a touchscreen interface, but the Jamstick can play these software instruments using the Bluetooth MIDI control. I've got an acoustic guitar open here, and uh, you've heard us use this quite a bit in our videos, but there are other guitars included with GarageBand. I have a uh, what they call a classic clean. I could switch to kind of a hard rock. Overdriven tone, a roots rock. And each one of these electric guitars does have uh, some stop box models that I can kind of play with as well. They're really kind of interesting, but I'm not limited to guitars. If I come over here to keyboards, you'll see my default patch is a grand piano, but I can open up and navigate to a number of different piano settings. I like the electric piano for some stuff. But I've also got organs and a clavichord. I have some synthesizers, two pages of classic selections. Synth basses, two pages of selections. Synth leads, two pages of selections again. Uh, two pages of synthesizer pads. And then I've got some crazy kind of effects synthesizer sounds if I want to. I'll just load this uh, arcade synth. And you can kind of goof around there if you want. But I'm not limited to that either. I also have drums. Now, it defaults to loading the studio kit. And these drums use general MIDI note mappings, which means every note on your jamstick might not correlate to a note in the drum map. I'm gonna drop the jamstick down an octave so that this C here plays the kick drum. So now C, D, kick, snare, kick, snare. I've got hats here. And uh, we've got some materials online at jamstick.com that explain the, the general MIDI mappings for drums that are available in GarageBand. You can see under the drum kit selections, I've got three kits and then I've got three drum machines. Uh, if I go to the hip hop drum machine, the general MIDI mappings are the same. Uh, kick drum is still here on C1, snare D1, hi hats and that kind of stuff. Really fun to play drums from, you know, from the uh, Jamstick interface. It's, it's interesting. Now, the guitar amp requires an audio input from like a live signal. Uh, so it doesn't work like you'd think it would with the, with the Jamstick because you have to feed it something from a, a different app or from the audio input. The sampler is actually a lot of fun because we can do some fun stuff like I can sample myself speaking and I can quickly edit by dragging the dead air out of that sample, and now I can play that sound from the Jamstick. I can sample myself speaking. Play myself in a chord. I, I can, can sample, sample myself, myself speaking. speaking. Do some fun stuff, turn it around in reverse. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun, I can do a couple of different things. I actually have a sample of someone who volunteered to say hello. <laughs> that I can play here, uh, just using uh, the sampler within GarageBand and the Jamstick. Lots of fun. Uh, I also have some strings, four different patches of strings, and I can just quickly play some of those. Lots of interesting stuff in there. And then I also have basses. If I want to, I can... I've got a couple of different basses that are available, kind of more of a mute P bass sound, a picked P bass sound, which has kind of got a lot of attack to it. But then I also have an upright bass and a couple of other synth basses. Uh, they're a lot of fun to kind of, you know, you could explore sounds uh, for a long time in GarageBand, kind of identify which ones you like to work with the most. Now GarageBand also has a recording interface and at our uh, Jamstick videos channel on YouTube, we've got a number of resources that kind of explain how to use uh, the recording interface as a loop recorder or just how to build up and layer your own sound so that you can make your own recordings using GarageBand. So you can see that GarageBand actually makes things like recording your performance or just switching up and playing different sounds really easy to get around in. And working with your Jamstick makes it a lot of fun. So I encourage you, go ahead and get connected, open up GarageBand, and just start playing. You'll have a great time.